What's going on, Extreme Gang? It is that time again we start doing preview videos. We're going to start off with this week with 2020 Gypsy Queen. And yes, there is a big subscribe to the channel on front of you. I happen to look at some stats like 72% of the viewers that are uh, watching the videos aren't subscribed yet. So if you're not subscribed, go down below, hit the little subscribe button. We do giveaways, uh, previews, you get to see me open up boxes games all jacked up and stuff so hit that subscribe button all right let's hit gypsy queen up hey there she is and the only reason i have it full screen unlike i know cards in front of me that i'm trying to get in the store and it looks bad i mean ooh, real bad but let's talk to gypsy queen this comes out on wednesday i am a fan of gypsy queen just because the stock is really nice onto the card and they do a lot with it as well. And what's but one thing I don't like is, is no joke, is trying to variations to it from Gypsy Queen logo swap to Jackie Robinson days, and because it all the time. But we'll hit all Queen. Lot people had retail already, but as you can see, it's a 300 card base set. And then you got 20 short printed base set too. Two autographs, one chrome topper per box. I am doing a full case in the month. That Facebook group is below, but please email me so I know it's you that's going into it. You guys know the email. It's extremecardbreaks at gmail.com. Should be down in the description as well, too. <laughs> What's weird is I'm pointing in on the camera, and there's really no camera going, just a slide. All right, let's move on with Gypsy Queen a little bit here. There's everything you got in front of you. We already touched how many cards in this. Got the set parallels. They got 150. Missing nameplate. This red, all the parallels are easy. I mean, if you get a black parallel, cha ching usually. But let's see here. You guys can see the stuff onto the screen and stuff. I'm just looking to hit the highlight like product, unless it's like Prism Contenders NT. All right, so you got all the insert cards. Uh, as you can see, there's my little mouse in the diggy. Um, Players Weekend Image Variation Hobby Exclusive. You only get that in the hobby boxes. That'll be interesting to find. Jackie Robinson days. You know what those already have the 42 on a jersey. You got the fortune teller cards that are inside there. Then you got inserts into this. It starts to remind me of Alan and Ginter. I'm looking at like three screens. All right, you got the autographs that are going to be in there. The mini rookie autographs, the fortune teller mini autographs, and Jack autographs. So lots of autographs. As we go back up here, as you guys back up here real quick, two autographs. And if you do break with me, I do have the big uh, top loaders for those insert or the box toppers. So you'll get it in that. I just don't have this, like the the outer team bag for it, so you got to deal with the tape on. I do send those out like that. It's pretty well packaged. So far, nothing would, nothing's ever happened. All right. This is what I want to talk about. I like this here the new autograph lineup cards. Look at that Glaber Torres. That is sick. They're taking part of the lineup. The autograph. I'm really. It's not like a bat knob or bat barrel, you know, but it's something different, and I like the idea behind it. I started bringing up like using having a card would have part of a ticket stub or something in it. This here, I like. But as you can see, those are all your autographs on there. We're going to be hunting for one of ones and I'm going to fix that horn buzzer, too, because it was dead <laughs> for the inception. And I just hit it, like, probably 20 minutes before. It must have had this one last spurt. All right. Boom. There we go. Box toppers. One in every high box. I think there was eight or t let me think here. 
10 box case. I think it's a 10 box case. I'm trying to remember what I'm paying at. It's either 8 or 10. I can't remember now. Either way. We're breaking a full case of this. I won't have any for preview, but I will post the video so you guys can watch what we get out of the case run, just like Inception. Bear with me. I go slow during Gypsy Queen, so it could be an hour to hour and 15 minute break. I have no idea. And I do stack packs just to make it go a little bit quicker. So if you do watch it and you just want to see the hit, scroll to the end. Or do me a favor just to click and watch the video and go away for about 40 minutes and come back. We're just about numbers on YouTube. Just kidding, you don't have to do that. All right, but as you can see, the box toppers are really cool. I I like Allen and Ginter's as well, too, but I like this. I like the look with, a, I think they're 5 by 7 cards, if I remember right, or something like that, 3 by 5 I, I forget offhand, but I like the idea of it. I like the bigger cards. They Yes, they are. You don't grade them, but this here you might grade if you get an audit. You're going to be paying for the case a lot. But really good product. I've always liked Gypsy Queen, like I said. Um, they do a good job. Even Allen and Ginter does a good job. But that's later on down the road. I love the rip cards. Oh, I love those rip cards. But what do you guys think? Is Are you fans of Gypsy Queen? I like to hear stuff about it, what everybody's opinion is. You guys can hit it all through the comments. Sorry, I was seeing my phone blow up, guys. But, uh... And it's, it's all about the coronavirus, so I'm just trying to make sure like work hasn't recalled me or something for tomorrow. But other than that, let me know in the comments what you guys think about Gypsy Queen. I, I like the product. I mean, I know it's not your high-end Bowman. and well, Really, Bowman's all your high-end, really. Anything with the word Bowman in it. But um, I know it's not like Topps Chrome, because some people dig Topps Chrome being the cheaper Bowman Chrome. Or stuff like that there. And we won't even touch Panini Baseball because I know a lot of people don't like Panini Baseball. But, you know, I, I dig Gypsy Queen. I like it. It's up there probably a little over halfway up in my stack of what I like on to it. A lot of people don't like uh, Tribute. I like Tribute. I know it's a little bit expensive, but, man, you can pull some dingers out of there. We did last year. First year ever, too, pulled a lot of dingers. But other than that, let me know what you guys think about in the comments down below on Gypsy Queen. I will have a full case, like I said, it'll be in the Monster Den. I'll make sure that link is down below that Facebook group. If I don't recognize your name, just send me an email. Like, hey, I just requested to join the Monster Den. My name is blah, 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 blah. If it's not already in the email. And I'll get you approved if you want to get into it. Me and Jacob should have a, a case of this, too. We pretty much stick with each other's prices on to it. So whatever he's at, I'm at, or I'm at, he's at type deal. We don't really ever have too much of a variation on to it. I will ship all my cards with it. I don't know what he's doing on his, but I'm pretty sure he's the same way. But uh, I will ship all, including base cards. You get a nice little box for me and stuff like that. So if you're interested, hit it up. Other than that, I got to get ready to start plugging stuff in the store. I will try to come live maybe tomorrow night, being Tuesday, for a little bit, just to chit-chat with everybody. All right, everybody stay healthy out there and have a good day.